Clinton, Illinois, the place where it's always hot, or cold, or somewhere in between. Listen, we have a bunch of cool places to go in this town. Dairy Queen, McDonald's, we have Walmart, there's a CVS pharmacy. Hell, there's even a KFC, but the best is Jimmy John's. I think the reason I like Jimmy John's sandwiches so much is because my mom used to work there and I didn't have any pillows at home so she would grab Jimmy's on sandwiches and bring them home and I would just use those as my pillows and my blankets sometimes. So in the middle of the night when I get hungry I just turn over and you know and eat a Jimmy John's sandwich. I think the reason I love Jimmy John's so much is because well I was born in one. I came out of my mother's vagina and the doctor could tell I was very very hungry but there was no food around other than Jimmy John sandwiches, so he chewed it all up and spit it into my mouth just like a bird would. The funniest thing that ever happened to me at Jimmy John's is when a customer needed six dollars back in change, but I gave him seven. <laughs> around nine years old, I used to go to Jimmy John's just to hit on the women working. One time, I wanted to get their attention really badly, so I bought a sandwich, went to the bathroom, stuck the sandwich in my pants, and walked back over to her and was like, oh, I just went to the bathroom. I must have got a huge boner in there. And she started smiling at me, and then, and then a pigeon flew in, the, in through the door, and I guess he walked in there just thinking he's a badass, and then he started pecking at my, my crotch area, as I like to call it, my crotchal region. So anyway, this pigeon starts pecking the heck out of my wiener, and then the girl notices and says, Oh my god, is your wiener okay? And I didn't notice it at first, so I'm sitting there like, Oh, yeah, that hurts. So I take out the sandwich and start beating the pigeon. And then she's like, You were just faking having a huge wiener. Get out of here! And she picked me up by my hind legs and threw me out. I still remember the first time I actually ate a Jimmy John's sandwich. Because, you know, I got kidnapped twice that day. And the second time, they're like, Yo, either eat three Jimmy John sandwiches or I'll electrocute you to death. And I was like, well, I don't really feel like dying, but then again, I'm not really hungry. Because, see, I got kidnapped earlier that day. They made me eat a whole bucket of butterscotch ice cream. So, anyway, well, I ate three sa sandwiches. I ate three of them. And then I threw them up. And then I doubt it's count. So I ate my puke. I'm gonna get the bread now. Oh no, I burnt the bread. See, what I like about Jimmy John so much is it's like, you know, you can look back there and you can see him making your sandwich. And you're like, whoa, that's my sandwich they're making just for me. Wait, oh wait, never mind, Subway does that too. Hold, hold on, okay. Uh, what I like about Jimmy John so much is that they, they like, you can get your sandwich Toasted, then you just. Jimmy John's didn't even do that at Subway. Well, what I like about Jimmy John's so much, you have such a variety. Like, you know, you can get meatballs or chick. Subway, too. Dang, Subway's pretty cool. You guys want to go to Subway later? I'll pay. I. What? Oh, you're still going. One time, uh, one of my fellow employees wanted me to make him a sandwich for free, and I said, no way. And then he stuck his finger up my butt and wiggled it around. Crocky! One day before I came to work, I ate a shitload of grass. And we ran out of freaking lettuce. So what did I do? I puked all in the guy's sandwich. He didn't even notice anything happened. That's the most fucked up thing that ever happened to me here. I, when I was younger, my grandpa used to always tell me, if you don't eat Jimmy John's, you're going straight to hell. So, if you're not going to eat here, start digging a hole right now, straight down there. So, you know, when I was younger, I didn't like tomatoes, and they used to always put tomatoes on their sandwiches. So I was like, well, going to go dig a hole. So I dug a hole and it's actually pretty deep now. Like 20 foot. 20 foot deep. 
Back when I was 11 years old, I did a lot of drugs, cocaine, well, mainly just cocaine, but I was so hungry for Jimmy John's one night after doing 11 lines of cocaine, because it just I just turned 11, but I went to a Jimmy John's, but it was like three in the morning, so it was closed. I didn't know this until the next day after I got out of the hospital, but instead of waiting for it to open, I bashed my head through the window and my head was stuck so I tried getting it out and I lifted it up and my head just went right up to the glass and the glass went right through my neck and my head fell into a garbage can and the garbage can just happened to have Jimmy John sandwiches in it so I ate those to keep my head alive while my body searched for my head it was rough I'm actually on drugs right now So basically, I just love Jimmy John's. I would eat it any time if I had to. Actually, I don't like it that much, but you know, it's good sometimes. I only eat it like once, once a month. I mean, I just have to walk down the street, but you know, I like other places too. Jimmy John's is good though. Jimmy John's is like, Jimmy John's is like taking a dump into a pile of dog food and then mixing it all together just so you can throw it at cop cars. And the cops will stop and get out and say, why'd you throw that dog food turd at me? And that it's worth it. You know, it's worth all the trouble to get him to say that one line. And that's what Jimmy John's is like. It's worth the hassle of eating to get full, you know, not that there's a hassle of eating the food because it's really yummy, but it's, it's like that, it's like an equal, like this is the story, and this is the Jimmy John, and it, there's an equal sign between them, and you can put them together, and they turn into a Hot Pocket, and you could eat that Hot Pocket, you know what I mean, I mean, it's pretty simple, it's pretty simple.